Hi, I'm Sonu from Living in Color with Sonu, and today we have a special treat. We're here with interior designer and the author of the new book, The New Traditional, Daryl Carter. Daryl, The New Traditional, it's full of not just wonderful design ideas, but just a great insight into how you think. But how can any person, anyone take from that book a few ideas and incorporate them into their home, into their life every day? I think what's most challenging um, for people as they approach their houses is overwhelm. Mm -hmm. uh, too much information. Um, you know, it's, it's all about editing. And then how do you do that? How do you make sense out of what goes together? So when I meet with my clients, I often tell them to bring me magazine clippings. And I say they can be as disparate. And I'm like, if you're a couple, both of bring one each. If they're kids, bring that too because there's a sense that you're going to discover and it can be something very uh, discreet. You may, it may be texture you're responding to that tells me what you like in terms of what it feels like, color, light saturation, the hand of a house, the heaviness of the architecture or not, you know, and then you can make sense out of the vocabulary. Is design and the philosophies you put out, is that exclusive for a particular audience? No, I think that that is um, un an unfortunate myth um, or apprehension. No, I think it's for everybody. I think as you look around, you everywhere you look, there's design. Everyone should be inspired. You know, people often ask me what inspires me. I'm like, I'm driving down the street, I see a cornice on a building, and that somehow finds its way into my work. Everywhere around you, I mean, you're, you're just you know, we're overwhelmed with it. So, Daryl, tell us about what you did with your floor in your home. The floor was um, a point of contention and frustration because there are some beautiful old floors in this house. And then there was the newer circa 1980 edition, which was Pergo. And not that there's anything wrong with Pergo, but it was inconsistent with what was present in the house. So I somehow had to unify them. And the rooms need to have some continuity to them. So the floor had to be addressed. And the, the, the solution was Benjamin Moore white porch paint. Totally durable, you know, just fantastic. The dogs run through. I come through with a, a mop, or someone <laughs> does, and we clean up. But no, it cleans up easily, uh, contrary to popular myth and belief.